My will, my will, I give to you. Mute your phones. Please mute your phones. Use me, Lord. Someone the way. My storage. My carnality. My flesh is empty. And I am available to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please mute your phone. Yes, Lord. That's right. That's right, Secretary. Lord, I'm available. All the tools. My hands, my ears, my voice, my eyes. I've emptied out my cup. So that you can fill it up. Now I'm free. More available. We're in Ephesians 4, 1 through 16 today. Lord. My will, my will. Use me, Lord. Use me. Ah, God, thank you. And enable me to say. My thoughts, my ideas, my concept, my storage, my flesh, my carnality, and I, my, my intellect, my education. Oh, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And now... I'm available to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. God bless you, family. We greet you in the name of Jesus. Please mute your phone. Amen. Hallelujah. If you're in a noisy area, if you, amen. Knocking the phone around. Amen. Hallelujah. Please mute your phone. So, uh, amen. Your noise is our noise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, family. In the name of Jesus, we greet you. In the matchless name of Jesus, we give honor to the Lord today. We praise God for you. Amen. Hallelujah. You and you. We thank God for all things. For God doeth all things well. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we just thank God for this another week of prayer. Amen. And supplication, submission to God. Amen. God not praying because, amen, hallelujah, amen. I, I want something or need something, amen. But I'm praying because, amen, he is the answer. Amen. He is the source of my strength. You are the strength of my life. I lift my hands in total praise to you, God. Amen. Not just out of need, but it's just, amen, because he's God. Amen. And that's who we, this, this is the source. Amen. Hallelujah. That we're connected to. Amen. That we pray to, that we call on. The Bible says, whosoever called upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And we thank God for you. We thank God for, amen, hallelujah, the Robinson family. We celebrate it, amen, on Sunday, their fifth anniversary, amen, hallelujah. And amen, what a marvelous time we had. What a marvelous fellowship, amen, sister Faith, amen, not only, amen, sent food. She sent food before, amen, hallelujah, amen. This time she brought it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. She brought it with her. And we had such a marvelous time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. She She's a very good cook. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. And we had such a marvelous time. And it was great. As we do every Sunday, we, we fellowship every Sunday. We don't just have service. And everybody race to see how fast they can leave. Amen. You know who the winner is. There's an old joke. There's an old church joke saying, how do you know? Amen. The deacons of the church. I ain't talking about y'all deacons, but I'm just telling you this, the joke I've heard. Amen. How do you know the deacons of the church? Amen. They're the first one in the parking lot after service. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We don't do that here at Agape. Amen. Those that have to go, go. But we stay and we fellowship one with another. Amen. Here at Agape. We don't leave so fast. Amen. Hallelujah. Back in the day, Sunday was... Um, the most important day of the week, amen. Everybody's working on, on during the week and doing what they had to do on Sunday was their time of relief and release. 
Amen. So it was an event. They put on their Sunday clothes or their, their Sunday best. Amen. Their best to wear on Sunday. Sometimes it was overall and coveralls and different things, but it was their best. Amen. They cleaned it and washed it and got ready for church on Sunday. Amen. Shine it and polish them old boots. Amen. And wore those to church on Sunday, whatever they had. Amen. But it was an event. They didn't come to leave. They came to stay. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we thank God. Hallelujah. Uh, so went to the meeting and didn't go to stay. Hallelujah. Amen. Soul got happy and I stayed all day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we thankful that we can just fellowship one with another. It's just a beautiful time we had. Amen. And we always have here at Agape. I'm not bragging. I'm just partial to it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just partial to it, y'all. Amen. Because that's the church he called me to pastor over. Amen. Um, we were talking about, I'm thinking about a series. I think this is, God, God is just making this into a series. Amen. Sunday we was talking about uh, the temple and how Solomon, amen, what he did, amen, and sacrificed and what he did to build a temple in, uh, in the second book of Chronicles. Uh, and I went through one through seven. Amen. They, those that was here could tell you. Amen. I went from the first chapter all the way through. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, y'all put y'all soft shoes on today. Amen. But it, when you're building a house or you're building a building, it takes time. Amen. And you got to pay attention to what you're doing. Amen. Because people, you can hurt people and you, you want to build it up right and build it to code. And there's certain things you need to do. Amen. To build that building for the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. For the house of God. This was a literal house in Solomon's um, case, amen, and so he was able to build, amen, hallelujah, the house of God and his house, amen, and I and I submit to you, my brothers and sisters, that it, when you build the house of God, hallelujah, you build, God will build your house, the Bible declares, seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness and everything that you need is going to be added to you because you're doing his will, when you're walking in his will, you, you release all the blessings, all the divine blessings and healings that comes from God. Every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord. And so subsequently, amen, we see here Paul, the apostle of Jesus Christ in the uh, fourth chapter of Ephesians or in Ephesus or in, in Colossae, uh, uh, Galatia, all the different churches that he sent letters out to. Amen. And so uh, I could go all the way to the first and walk up to the fourth, amen, hallelujah, but I'm not going to do that today, this is noonday prayer, amen, hallelujah, but it, 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 we're talking about kind of building the house of God, that's the overall theme, um, building the house of God and building the people of God, amen, and so we're building the house, amen, hallelujah, and we've been doing it through the messages, amen, hallelujah, since the beginning, amen, hallelujah, so we've been building the house and building the people, of the house of God and who owns the house, who owns the property, who owns the rights, who has the, the deed, who has the permits, amen, that you got to go down to the city and you got to get surveyor that got to come out and look at it and make sure uh, uh, it's, 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 it's laid out correctly and the, and, the, and the boundary markers are in the right place, amen, and the EPA has to come and make sure there's no a negative impact on the environment, Amen. They got to do the environmental surveys and test the water and test the dirt. Hallelujah. Amen. And test the air. Hallelujah. They do all that before you lay one brick. Amen. Hallelujah. They got to come through there and they got to test everything to make sure. Amen. That it does not uh, uh, be, uh, be, be no negative connotation to those that live there and the people that lives in the community. Amen. Hallelujah. So it's very important when you build in the house of God, amen, that you don't just, amen, throw stuff together. Amen. Y'all know them three little pigs. One had straw. Amen. The other one had wood. Amen. And the other one did it with a brick. But here come the test. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe they got it from the word of God. They said that they had the houses and amen. The wind blew and the, and the way and, and, the, and the rain came. Amen. But it, it stood because it was founded upon a rock. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It wasn't stubble and, 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 and hay. Amen. Hallelujah. It was founded upon the rock. And we must build on Jesus Christ. There's no other foundation given among us whereby we can be saved except by the, the power of God other than Jesus Christ. And so uh, Paul was letting them know that he is an apostle of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Called to be 
Amen. Hallelujah. A, an apostle, which means one sent. Amen. Hallelujah. Sent by God. Amen. That disciple that was trained and sent by God. Amen. To preach the word of God and the truth of God's word. So if you read from that first chapter all the way up through the fifth and the sixth. Amen. It's a beautiful book. Amen. The word is right anyway. Amen. But it's a beautiful series when you're reading God's word and you go in and dive in and study God's word. So now houses, the building is built. Amen. In amen. In, in, in line with what was speak, spoken Sunday. Amen. About amen. Building the house of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, um, so now we see how we put the furniture and we put in the, the people and we coming in to live in this house that God has given to us. Amen. To amen. Furnish. Now they have this thing in, 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 um, real estate where they have fully furnished. Amen. It's a fully furnished house, a fully furnished apartment. Amen. That has everything already in there that you need. God has everything that you need in your house, in your earthly house, in this spiritual house that he has built. This is what's supposed to go in the house. Amen. Hallelujah. To build the people of the house. Amen. So Paul says over here in Ephesians 4, 1, it says, I therefore, prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you've been called. Ye are called with all loneliness, loneliness and meekness and long, with long suffering for bearing one another in love. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to walk worthy in the vocation, the job, amen, the calling that God has called us into. Amen. So I'm like, wait, wait a minute, Pastor. Hold on. I don't know my calling. I don't know what God has called me to. Amen. Into. Amen. The Bible says, uh, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. I think God wants me to be an evangelist. Amen. I believe it because I always like to go outside and like to go different places and talk to people about the Lord. I believe he called me into an, an evangelist. Well, let me tell you something. God don't whisper when it comes to the call. Amen. You know what God has called you to. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so uh, he does not whisper. And so you just got to trust the God, follow him, do what he say. Don't look for the office. Amen. Look, look, look for the task rather than the title. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody with the Holy Ghost, the spirit of God can, can exhibit any of the fivefold. Amen. Hallelujah. God, God can do what he, God's in control. He does the work. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. And don't be so quick to put people into a, a hole. Amen. In a slot. Oh, you're a pastor. You're a prophet. You are this and you're that. No, uh, we are all things in God. Amen. Hallelujah. That baby can prophesy. Amen. God can do whatever he wants to do when he wants to do it, the way he wants to do it. But these are the classifications that has been given to us through scripture. Amen. And so we use what has been given to us for all scriptures given by inspiration of God. Amen. So that's what we use. But we as the servants of God, amen, give God full course. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't try to put him in a box. Amen. Let God do. Let God abide and let the enemies be scattered. So walk worthy. Whatever you do in God and for God, do it with everything that you have. Amen. Do it with excellence. Do it with the spirit of excellence. Amen. Hallelujah. Give it, give it your all. Wherewith you are called with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Love is the whole key to everything. Love covers. Don't get me started. It's called agape. Amen. A multitude of sin. Amen. We have to have lowliness. Amen. In other words, not putting ourselves out there. Amen. Not trying to be above everybody else, but humble yourselves under the mighty hands of God, knowing that is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We, we bow down in, in, in submission to God. <clears throat> Amen. And we are meek about it. We're not arrogant about it. Amen. With some patience, with some long suffering. Amen. Forbearing one another, dealing with each other. Amen. Under that, under the blanket of love. Amen. Let's love one another. Let's show love. Even if we disagree. Amen. Hallelujah. Even if we agree to disagree, uh, we show love one toward another. Endeavoring, trying. Amen. Ever seeking. Amen. To keep peace. Amen. Keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. 
Amen. Keep us unified under the spirit, under the Holy Ghost. Amen. And the Holy Ghost don't fight itself. So, amen. It don't work against itself. Amen. Hallelujah. It don't act itself unseemly. Hallelujah. So we, we know what that says. Amen. In Corinthians. Amen. It gives us the list of what the Holy Ghost does and what it don't do. Amen. Hallelujah. What, the, what love does and what love don't do. Amen. Hallelujah. And so the spirit in the bond of peace. There is, my brothers and sisters. I know y'all got 1,200 churches and every corner got a different name. And we believe this. Some got hats, don't have. Some don't have hats. Some wear white. The other ones don't wear. They wear black. Some don't wear sho uh, dress shoes. Some don't believe in stilettos. Amen. Some don't believe in tennis shoes. Hallelujah. Amen. You got some. Amen. Hallelujah. They let you come in any kind of way you want to. Amen. But you got some got a dress code. They will escort you out or they put a blanket over you. Amen. And cover you up in church. Amen. But I'm I'm here to tell you today. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm here to tell you. March 19, 2019, there is only one church. Amen. Hallelujah. There's only one body. The fourth, Ephesians 4 and 4. A 4 for 4. Let's put 4 on the floor. Hallelujah. There is one body. Hallelujah. Amen. There is one body. There is one church. Jesus said, upon this rock, I shall build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. There is one body and that body is the body of Christ. He sacrificed his life for our liberty, for our salvation. There is one. There shan't be another. There's only one body, one spirit. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is not saying there's not evil spirits and the spirits of different types. Amen. That comes from Satan. There's only one divine Holy Spirit. Amen. He is above. Oh, let me. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Amen. There is one spirit, even as you're called into one hope of your calling. Hallelujah. Amen. One vehicle, one access. Amen. To the divine the deliverance and salvation of God. There's only one. Hallelujah. One Lord God. One faith, holiness, hallelujah, one baptism, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. One Lord, amen, who's, there's one person in charge, one boss, hallelujah, amen, Lord, I don't know, I told y'all before, the word Lord is I don't know, they didn't use the word Yahweh because they, they didn't want to make it a common word, amen, so they, they, they called God I don't know, only one God, one Lord, amen, one faith, hallelujah, amen, one baptism, one God, Amen. Hallelujah. Jehovah God. One father uh, of all. Amen. He started this thing. He made Adam. So he's he God. He's Adam's father. Hallelujah. He's a good, good father. That's who you are. And I'm and, and I'm loved by you. That's who I am. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Who is above all and through all and in you all. Amen. There's one great God that we serve. Hallelujah. Amen. That we worship and that we praise and we glorify. There's only one, my brothers and sisters. I know, like I said, we got everybody got more opinions. Amen. Hallelujah. Than, than marbles, than crayons in the box. Amen. You got more opinions. Amen. Hallelujah. Than crazy people in the insane asylum. Hallelujah. You got more opinions. Amen. More thoughts. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because a house divided against itself shall not stand. And so Satan knows he tries to, amen, thin the herd and get people speaking on this and this is what I believe in. I'm amen. I'm apostolic and I was born apostolic and I'm gonna die apostolic. My baby, my friends, let me tell you something. I, I was born in sin, shaped in iniquity, come short of the glory of God. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry from the waters. He lifted me. He saved me. Yes, I was at a church called Antioch. Yes, it was Bible way. Yes, it was an apostolic. Amen. Before apostolic, they called themselves Pentecostal. Before they said Pentecostal, they called themselves oneness hallelujah but before oneness hallelujah there was one god hallelujah amen who's who, who's the father of all who is above all and through all and in you all hallelujah but unto everyone is given unto you the grace according to the measure of the grace of christ wherefore he saith hallelujah when he ascended up on high he led the captivity captive and gave gifts that's our key scripture Amen. Giving gifts. Amen. Hallelujah. We're talking about giving gifts today. Hallelujah. That's our subject for today. Amen. He led the captivity captive. Amen. He didn't leave them into captivity. Amen. He captivated. Hallelujah. Lord 
Jesus. Hallelujah. He captivated, hallelujah, the audience, hallelujah, and took them out of bondage and brought them out and took them out of hell. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Went down into the theological world, went down into Abraham's bosom and snatched them, amen, out of darkness. Hallelujah. Wake up, Adam. Hallelujah. Dr. Galloway should say, wake up, Seth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Wake him up. Hallelujah. Here he is, the Redeemer, the one that you saw, the one that you talk about, the one that you prophesied and took him and brought him up. Matthew says they were walking around Jerusalem 40 days. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so, amen. He captivated the captives. Hallelujah. And snatched them out of hell itself. Hallelujah. And gave gifts unto men. Hallelujah. And so he that ascended, what it is, but that also descended first in the lower parts of the earth. And he that descended is the same also that ascended far above the heavens. Amen. John on the outer pattern to say it. Amen. Hallelujah. The crowd was made to those, the one that could open up the, amen, the book of the seven seals. And it said, we looked in heaven, looked on earth and looked under the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. And couldn't find anybody to open it up. I searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. Hallelujah. And the elder touched him on the show. He started crying. Hallelujah. He said, don't weep. The line of the tribe of Judah had prevailed to open the book of the seven seals. Jesus, how to pay it all, all to him I owe. No other name given among men whereby we can be saved. He did it. Hallelujah. All to him I owe because he snatched the, the keys of death, hell, and the grave from the devil and rose with all power in his hand. So he hath command and have Hallelujah. Dominion over heaven, hell, and earth. God gave us dominion over this earth. Hallelujah. God got heaven under control. Hallelujah. He kicked the devil out there when he was acting up. Hallelujah. Satan and his and his demons down in hell. Amen. Trying to destroy heaven and earth. He couldn't do it with heaven. Amen. So he went to the next best thing, earth itself. Amen. And he's trying to control this here and send as many people to hell as he possibly can. Hallelujah. But now that Jesus has snatched the gates off of hell, open up, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle he has prevailed to open the book of the seven seals he has prevailed to snatch the gates off of hell itself hallelujah he has prevailed to conquer death hell and the grave itself and he rose with all power and he said all power has been hey god thank you hallelujah all power has been gay hey, jesus hallelujah hallelujah has been i'm trying hallelujah hallelujah has been given unto me hallelujah in heaven and in earth hallelujah 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 he has conquered all of it hallelujah and he didn't keep it he told peter i'll give you the keys whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven whatever you bind on earth shall be bound on heaven hallelujah amen so when he came back he gave he descended and the same that also that ascended far by the heavens that he might fill, uh might feel all things bring it to pass bring it to mankind hallelujah thank you jesus and he gave some apostles the office of apostles once sent. Hallelujah. Though some prophets speak for God, say what God is saying. Hallelujah. Thus saith the Lord. Some evangelists go into the hedges and highways and compel men and women to come to Christ. Reach everybody you can as long as you can. As long as you got breath in your body, you witnessing Jesus Christ. You telling people about the good news. Hallelujah. Amen. You telling them, amen, that, that Jesus died for their sins and they need to be, the, the, have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Be saved. Get many people into the hospital as possible. Get as many people. Hallelujah. Do triage out there. Amen. In the hedges and the highways. Amen. Bring them to the gas station. Fill up their tanks. Hallelujah. Evangelists. Get out there and do what you're supposed to do. Hallelujah. Amen. People are dying. Hallelujah. Get out there. Evangelists. Hallelujah. Prophets say what God is saying. Hallelujah. Apostles, if you sent from him, you should be speaking like him. You should be talking like him. You should look like him. Hallelujah. You should be using his words. Hallelujah. You're sent from him. Hallelujah. An ambassador. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How are you going to be an ambassador from Japan and you don't speak Japanese. Hallelujah. You don't know what Japan is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What are you an apostle of? Oh, God, thank you. Let me move on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're an apostle. Amen. Hallelujah. An imposter apostle. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Some evangelists. Hallelujah. Get out there and get to work for God. Clock in. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Stop sitting in the office. Go out there, go out there in the field and get some work done. Pastors. Hallelujah. The shepherds. Amen. 
bring your sheep in and teach them and nurture them and amen hallelujah amen show them the right streets and the right roads amen show them the word of god open up the book to them amen that they may read and understand for themselves teach us hallelujah break it down interpret it amen hallelujah they can't eat steak cut it up for them hallelujah put some a1 on there hallelujah put some season on there hallelujah put some gravy on there hallelujah my brother my friend the late great uh, bishop Powell said just put some gravy on there hallelujah teachers cut that thing up so everybody can understand what it means amen break down that word of god hallelujah to the extent that everybody understands it hallelujah so he gave all these plate pieces amen to the puzzle amen hallelujah not for the apostles not for the prophets not for the evangelists not for the pastors and teachers but here we go this is what it's all for my brothers and sisters it's for you the gifts that he gave god's giving gifts amen hallelujah of these offices amen for the church amen the 12 verses for the perfecting of the saints the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of christ that's what we're here we're here to perfect the saints to bring them as close to being as like christ as possible amen not the ministry not the church building amen not the building fund not the pastor's aid amen perfecting them in god hallelujah perfecting them in god and in righteousness perfecting of the saints hallelujah amen hallelujah Hallelujah. Not the perfecting of the tithers. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. But perfecting of the saints. Hallelujah. The work of the, hallelujah, house cleaning. No, the work of the ministry, what they need to do as ministers or servants of God. A ministry means servant. Hallelujah. Minister means servant. Amen. We are all servants of the Most High God. For the work of the ministry, so we may serve each other, serve God. Amen. And serve mankind. Hallelujah. And for the edifying of the body of Christ to build up this building, the edifice. Amen. To build a brick by brick by brick. Each member is a brick. Amen. How to not donating for a brick for the building. Amen. But being the brick in the building. Lord Jesus. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. How to building that house. Edifying the body of Christ until we all come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Till we all come in the unity of faith and in the knowledge of the Son of Man unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Christ. We are building up each other. We are building up the people, the apostles and prophets. And the fivefold is working in their particular office. All of us together make up the body of Christ. We can't be Christ by ourselves, but we can be Christ-like, Christian, Christ-like. We could be headed in that direction. Amen. But when it, when the when the fivefold is working correctly, when the saints are being perfected, when the ministry is working, when the body of Christ is being edified, hallelujah. Now we are Christ himself. We doing the work. And that's when he said, greater work shall you do because I'm going to my father. So now we can do the, the perfect man and we can be in the statue of the fullness, not a statue of the stature of the fullness of Christ, being ob obedient to his word. Amen. Believe on me as the scripture said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all that heart, lean out to their own understanding. Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which your reasonable servants be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. And what happens is, amen, hallelujah, amen, uh, we, we become amen, builders of God, we become Christians and believers, amen, and so that henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with, with every wind of doctrine, the 14th verse says, by the slight of men and the cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. They're not going to deceive you because you know the truth. You shall know the truth and the truth shall, hallelujah, not your knowledge, but the truth itself is going to make you free, amen. It's not going to set you free. It's going to make you free. Amen. You can set somebody free and they can go knock, you know, run into the highway somewhere. But if they're made free, amen, hallelujah, they, they know what to do. Amen. Because they've been trained. They've been properly trained. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We henceforth no more children tossed to and fro. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But speaking the truth in love, they go, they go that love again, agape. Amen. Speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. From whom the whole body, everybody, all of us, how many coming? All y'all, come on. Hallelujah. Joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth. According to the effectual, it works. According to the effectual working. Hallelujah. It works, y'all. Hallelujah. Amen. In the measure of every part, make an increase of the body unto 
uh, the uh, the edifying of itself in love. It builds itself up, amen, and it'll stand there as a structure. It will stand there as a beacon of light and hope, amen, to everybody that's around it. Amen. A ministry should be effective, not only to the ministers, not, not just to the laity. Amen. It should be effective to the community. It should be effective to the world. If it's built on Christ, if, if it's built on that foundation that has, that's been laid, no other foundation other than Christ, all other ground is sinking sand. Hallelujah. Amen. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. Shall not trust the sweetest strain, but wholly lean on Jesus' name, on Christ. The solid rock I stand, everything else will fail. Everything. He's the last man standing. He said, I'm my Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. He which was, is, and is to come. El Shaddai. I am the Almighty God. He's almighty. God, he's holy. Holy and righteous. Hezekiah sung that song. Hallelujah is his name. Hallelujah. Amen. We praise and magnify and lift up his holy name. And we are edified by, amen, each other and lift up and build up one another. And we help one another. Amen. And we become, as everybody walking in their office and doing what they're supposed to do. Amen. Hallelujah. An effective body of Christ because the body of Christ worked. God gave his son. Amen. The son gave his life. He said, do not depart from Jerusalem, wait till you're endowed with powerful on high. So he gives us the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. He gives his gifts. He's continually given to us. Amen. So Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I do what you say to use. I'm full of you. I'm not full of my anger and bitterness, amen, because of the things Satan have sent to me and you're nothing. Your daddy was nothing. Your granddaddy wasn't nothing. And you'll never be nothing. So I'm bitter about my life and my walk, amen, hallelujah. And so, amen, that's what my ministry is, Bitterness Ministries Incorporated. Hallelujah, amen. I just, I just spew the venom and hatred and bitterness because I don't like myself and I don't like my life, amen. So that I spew, amen, that to everybody. Nah, child, just do what you can. God know what your heart is. Hallelujah. Yeah, he absolutely, he absolutely do know what your heart is. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. But God says he will delight yourself in him. He'll give you the desires of your heart. But the more you delight yourself in him, the more him you want. And so he's going to give you more of him, more of you. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to, I'm going to receive you. Amen. I'm going to, I'm going to be more like you. Amen. How, beloved, now we, the sons of God, does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. He that have this hope purify himself, even as he is pure. Amen. He gave us the gift. Amen. Of himself. He gave us the gift of his son. He gave us this gift of the Holy Ghost, the spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Now it's our turn to turn, return. Amen. And give it back to him. Amen. All the tools, all the gifts, and use it to build the kingdom of heaven, the edifying of the body of Christ, out of the work of the ministry, and the perfecting of the saints. How to, that's our job. Hallelujah. Amen. Is nothing wrong with organizations. Amen. What nothing wrong with Amen building the body, Amen, of an organization. There's nothing wrong with that. Amen. But let's make sure we're doing what's first is first. Amen. Building up the people. The Bible says that Jesus looked at the multitude and had compassion on them. Amen. And I told y'all before, compassion is the attempt. You don't know because you don't know that person. You're not that person. Amen. Hallelujah. Your mother might have died and their mother might have died, but that wasn't your mama. Your mother was your mom. Amen. And their mother was their mother. Compassion is the attempt. The key word is attempt. It is the attempt to see something from somebody else's perspective. Cold passion. Amen. To try to have that same passion. Amen. Or oh, feel their burdens. Bear one another burdens. If a man be overtaken to fall, ye which your spirit to restore. Have some compassion considering thyself. Do unto others as you have them do unto you. Those are compassionate scriptures to give us the attempt to try to see something from somebody else's perspective. Put yourself in their shoes. Amen. If you can. But you're not them, so you don't know them. So that's why I use the word attempt. Amen. And that, that's good. That's a positive thing because you're looking to have some compassion. Amen. And some love one toward each other and build up one another. Hallelujah. Then Christ is perfected in us. The word of God is perfected in us. Amen. And we become Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The body of Christ. And what gifts can we give? Can we give? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The things that, that we wanted to do. Amen. For people, the eyes haven't seen the scripture said, nor ear heard the things God has for them that love him. Amen. So the things that you, the very thing you thought you could do and be, amen, it'll, it'll come through you. 
Amen. And God will work a great work in you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Giving gifts. Hallelujah. Giving gifts. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to be, be that gift that God has given to my home and to my family and to my children. Amen. Hallelujah. To all that are around me. Amen. I want to be that gift giver. Amen. Hallelujah. I give myself away. Hallelujah. So you can use me. Amen. Hallelujah. I give myself away. Amen. So you can use me. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, family. Amen. Put in your prayer request. Praise reports. Those that want to pray. Amen. You certainly are welcome to do so in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We, we want to go before the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. But and the other side of this that we need to understand is that we are of the Lord. Amen. We represent God. Amen. Hallelujah. So all of this stuff. Yeah, we want to pray to God and ask God and talk to him. But we need to be that vehicle of deliverance. Amen. How did we need to be that vehicle of deliverance? Amen. I got a praise report. I got a call yesterday. Amen. Young man said I put a request in. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and God heard that request. And I thank you. So I thank you, Pastor. I thank everybody who was praying for me. Amen. On the noonday prayer. So we got another one this week. Amen. Hallelujah. Starting off the week with a praise report. Amen. Hallelujah. And the young man said, amen. Uh, God, I don't know if y'all saw it early on. That's why I say we can scroll back when you're doing your prayers and pray for folk, even those requests that that's already been made. Amen. <clears throat> uh, he said that, um, he said um, he, he felt like he's losing his way. And he said, God answered that prayer, and he's closer to God now than ever before. Amen. Hallelujah. And he thanked those who have been praying for him. Amen. And we're praying for him and praying for all those prayer requests. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we had a great talk. He's going to come visit um, soon. He said he's going to come visit soon. Amen. Visit the church. Amen. So, Amen. That's a blessing. Amen. God is moving and God is blessing. And it's good to know that. He said, he said, Pastor, if people are listening, amen, hallelujah. We're not always able to answer and talk and, and say things. He said, I don't always say things, but sometimes I come on late. Amen. I said, that's all right. Come on in. And I showed him our YouTube channel, amen, that you can go on YouTube and watch. He said, my schedule is different from, you know, my noon is not your noon. Sometimes I'm in different parts of the country and even the world. Amen. He's on his way to Guam. Amen. So we're going to pray for him. He's in the military. Amen. So pray for him. Amen. As he goes to Guam and God will protect him. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus and all our military people. Amen. Hallelujah. And they all say the same thing to me. They say, Pastor, I just need to talk about some of the things, you know, some of the things they need to go, they going through. Amen. I've had that before from military people. So we pray for all our military. Amen. And what they got to face from day to day. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And some of the homes and they did the senators that was over there in Fort Belvoir talking, showing the homes that mold and different things. They fighting for the country. And yet at home, amen, their, their home situation is not the best. Amen. So my heart goes out to all those who serve. Amen. Even in our uh, uh, police and firemen and amen, medical uh, hospitals and all those that serve the public. Amen. Hallelujah. I, my heart goes out to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And so it's not always a, a great job. Amen. People like to, they treat you like nothing sometimes. Amen. Hallelujah. But there's some good people that show love and compassion. Amen. So I just wanted to give y'all that praise report from that young man who called me yesterday and, and called in about with his praise report. Amen. Guys, I want to give you, he was, he was excited. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, I'm, I'm grateful. Amen. That God can use, amen, this vehicle. Amen. To um, to help somebody. Amen. He said, well, uh, he's a younger man, these young people are not going for no okie dokes. They're not going for no tricks and deceits and stuff. Amen. And games that you see a lot in church. Amen. Hallelujah. Just just tell the truth. Share the, the truth of God's word. And that's what I try to do. I try to, you know, I, I share what the Lord gives me. I use the Bible. I don't use nobody's leaflets. Amen. I don't use any, you know, uh, I, I don't have no problem with uh, Jake's or, or, or Creflo, or I don't have no problem with any televangelist, amen, that's preaching the word of God. I don't, amen, but but God has called me, and I use the, 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 the office of the pastor. That's my fivefold pastor. Even though it, a, a pastor can prophesy, he can teach, he can, he can preach, he can, he can evangelize, he can be apostle. 
Amen. So can a minister, so can an evangelist, so can, amen, hallelujah, a teacher, anybody with the Holy Ghost can exhibit, amen, God, because you have the Spirit of God in you. So God can do what he wants to do. God is able to do what he said he would do. He will fulfill, amen, every promise. God does whatever he wants to do because he's in control. Amen. All right. I don't see any prayer requests. Anybody want to start us off in prayer today? Amen. You can. And those that want to pray behind you, please pray. Just make sure your area is not too noisy, amen, what's around you, and also, amen, get close to the phone, amen, hallelujah, That so we can hear you clearly. I like to lay the phone on a flat surface, amen, hallelujah, so that the microphone is not only is bouncing off the table or whatever the flat surface I have it on, that way um, I can be heard more clear. When I'm holding it, people people can't quite hear but if i lay it on something flat like a table and i'm sitting there about i would say 12 inches from it um then then that's usually when people can hear you uh, the best amen so i'm just saying that because when you pray sometimes when people pray we can't quite hear you and it's not it's not clear when we hear when you praying so we want it, we wanted to be perfecting and edifying amen hallelujah for all of us when when you pray amen do we have anybody that would like to pray today? Amen. In the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I'm going to pray then. Father, we thank you for this day that you have made. We, we're going to rejoice and be glad. And, and God, we thank you, uh, not just what you did for this young man who called in with the praise report, but all the people that you, amen, hallelujah, have healed and delivered and set free and done marvelous works through and to and for lord god for your people because you love us lord god hallelujah your mercy and your grace hallelujah goes beyond what what we deserve but we are grateful lord god in your love and your compassion that you will bless us to be the the people of god that you call for us to be in these last and evil days and lord god we got work to do it's more than just coming to church and coming to a building God, we have work to do, amen. We have kingdom work to do. And Lord God, help us as your believers, amen, as your children, as your sheep. Lord God, help us, Lord God, to obey you and obey your word and your truth. Lord God, help us to walk up right before you and do what's pleasing in your sight. We love you, Lord God. We praise and magnify and, and lift up your holy name, Lord God, and bless those in hospitals and prison wars and cancer wars. And Lord God, bless the heart of men. Let's share love to this world, Lord God. People are walking into buildings and churches and schools. And, amen. They're doing all manner of disease and, 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 and dangerous things. Amen. To your people. And amen. Hallelujah. Even, even goodwill, Lord God. They're walking up in goodwill and doing bad things, Lord God. Hallelujah. Because iniquity shall abound. The, the love of many shall wax cold, Lord God. And so we're asking for the light of God to shine in darkness and let darkness comprehend it not. And we as your people and the children of God, help us, Lord God, to do what's right. Help us, O God, of our salvation for the glory of thy name. And deliver us and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. And we, thy people and sheep of your pasture, will give you thanks forever. We will show forth your praise through all generations. And we love you, Lord. We thank you. We praise and magnify your holy name. Heal everybody listening. Deliver, Lord God. Make a way out of no open doors to seem closed. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name I pray. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 and amen. Amen. God bless you, family. We love you in Jesus' name. We thank God for you being with us today. Amen. We pray for you. Every name on the prayer book, every prayer list. Again, Robinson family, we love you. Thank God for five years. Amen. It wasn't all flat land. Amen. A wall wasn't downhill. Amen. Hallelujah. There were some hills like a roller coaster. It, up one minute, down the next. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes you up and down at the same time. I don't know how you do that on a roller coaster, but life can do it. Amen. Hallelujah. That life can do that with a roller coaster. Can't. Hallelujah. You got to use gravity and stuff. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to use the laws of gravity. Hallelujah. And use wood. And, but life can, you can be up on a hill and down at the same time. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what, that's what the, that's what the song says. I've been up. I've been down. I've been leveled to the ground. Hallelujah. But we trust God. We believe God through everything. Amen. Old Andre Cross sung a song. Through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Through it all, I learned to depend upon his word. Hallelujah. So trust God. Believe him today. 
Amen. And, and congratulations on your five years. Amen. And keep trusting God and believing God. Amen. He'll give you 50 more, 55 plus more years. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we thank God for you. Amen. And everybody. We celebrate everybody at Agape. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. But they are our biggest family. Amen. At the church. Amen. Hallelujah. And my, my nickname is First Family. They they really, because I don't, you know, y'all pray for y'all. You pray for pastor. Amen. They really the first family of agape. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And I thank God for them. And I love them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So um, I just want you to, to, amen, be mindful of we have the date, we have the time, we have the location. Amen. We want to have the service for Brother Rodney Nelson on the 30th of March at 11 a.m. It will be at, amen, uh, Roberts Memorial United Methodist Church, amen, on uh, 600 block of South Washington Street. We will be having the memorial service for Brother Nelson on that Saturday. I'm about to create a post for that on Facebook after I finish noonday. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so all that can, y'all come out, amen, hallelujah. We've been up and down. This has been a roller coaster, but we finally got a date and a time and a location. And so y'all come on out. Let's honor this man on the 30th of March, amen, next Saturday at 11 a.m. at Roberts Moore Church on South Washington Street, amen. So thank you all so much for being so patient and kind and uh, reach out to Roberts Moore Church, uh, Pastor Daniel Lee. Amen. God bless you and thank God for you. Even Bulo that did the same thing. We just had a schedule con it was just a date. Amen. A scheduling conflict. Amen. Not a conflict, but a schedule thing, uh issue. Amen. And so and and Reverend Driscoll, who will be at the funeral, he will be there. Amen. So he's coming over. And so we thank God for all that's gonna come over and honor this man on uh next Saturday at eleven AM. Amen. Love you guys. Thank God for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, keep us in prayer. All that can give, this has been hands down the biggest, greatest, amen, most blessed, amen, march for agape we've ever had. Amen. This breaks the record. Amen. So if you want to be a part of this record breaking, a, a march for agape, amen, um, please give um, to the church and the ministry, amen, that we may be able to help and do some things. This wouldn't have been a roller coaster. If we had the resources, uh, we would. this service would have been done already. Amen, hallelujah. We got some transportation issues. We got a lot of things going on in the church. Amen, and, and different bills and things. We thank God for what was done. Amen, hallelujah. But we're still moving forward. Amen, they keep coming, y'all know. Amen, they don't send you one and say that's it. Amen, they, they keep coming, you know, and so... Uh, we had the little girl, um, I was playing this video game. It's kind of like, uh, Martian invaders, space invaders. Amen. And, and she said, they keep coming. Mania. Um, uh, yeah, I, Mania or Mariah, Mariah. She goes, it keep coming. They keep coming. And they, they was attacking and I'm fighting, you know, and so they, it's just like Bill, you fighting, you fighting, doo, 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 you know, and they keep coming. They keep marching. Amen. No matter what. And so. Um, y'all, y'all be a blessing and we help others. Amen. In their need. Amen. And so, uh, you help the church and so that we may help others as well. Amen. Hallelujah. What you give helps, uh, our community. Amen. So thank you so much. Love you in the name of Jesus. I'm looking to hear some more testimonies. Amen. Again, sister faith, if she's still here, thank you so much. I can't see the screen go dark. Amen. Thank you so much for your help yesterday. I mean, Sunday. Amen. And all that you do. Uh, Brother D, thank you, sir. Amen. He came by and put touched on computer a couple of times. Amen. Did this and that. Amen. And Lord have mercy. Thank you so much, sir, for your help. Amen. And assisting. Amen. Uh, the church. And I pray the Lord open up a blessing that you don't have room to receive because he can say he cannot. He cannot deny. And I'll never deny because by this time I've learned, amen, but he can't, the God put us together, amen, hallelujah, he brought, brought him to me and brought, brought us to be together, amen, so I thank God for that, what God did, amen, in that, in that situation, and so, amen, let's, let's just work together and build the kingdom, amen, hallelujah, so I thank God for you, brother D, y'all pray for him, as he pray for you, as we pray for everybody on our conference line, our church, our ministry, and our world, so thank God for everybody, see, God got what you need, God told me that years ago. He said, God, everything you need is here. 
Amen. Everything we need is right here. It's here. Don't make me rich, sing Richard Smallwood. Amen. What you need is waiting at the table. Amen. It's here right now. What you need is waiting at the table. Amen. So God bless you, everybody. Love you. In Jesus' name, our closing scripture, First Timothy, first chapter 17, verse now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, amen. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. This is the Agape Way. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name. And I'll see you next time. God bless you. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Budenite Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.